Okay, today is the modular mini grow systems, Dutch buckets, fabric pots, float beds, nutrients, and it'll be part one of three. Hey guys, today is going to be like a three-part series on a modular mini growing system. It'll have three different ways of growing, everything you need in it, and uh, so let's get started. Oh, by the way, today I have my denim lab coat. Kind of like that for this time of year anyway. So everything comes in this 27 gallon tub. We've got a float. We've got five buckets. Water pump. Aeration pump. Master blend. Five fabric bags. Miscellaneous hoses for everything you need water, air, etc. All the bags and fittings for the bucket system. Got a timer, the aeration stones, and all the little fittings we need. So we're going to put this all together and we'll start here in a minute. Okay, these are all the parts you need to have a float bed, a bucket system, fabric pots, um, the nutrients, everything you need is all in one box. It's really great. All right. The only things you'll have to get is about a five foot piece of one half inch PVC, schedule 40, and a two inch. Five feet is the best, and they'll sell them in that section of two inch PVC, schedule 40. All the fittings and everything are here, so that's really all you need to buy. Okay, the only tools you need for this project. Drill with a one-inch hole saw, PVC cutter, <laughs> favorite little tool, yeah, oh yeah, and a scissors to cut the tubing, a marker if you want, you can kind of wing it if you need to, that's okay too. Um, that's it for tools, and that's, uh, let's get going. Okay, so let's get started with the Dutch buckets, or American buckets as I call them. One inch hole saw, about two inches up, doesn't have to be exact. Center as much as possible. Drill the hole. Clean off the edges. Get it nice and smooth. I sometimes use a, a knife or just a some sharp edge. For now, it'll be, that'll be good. Sandpaper. One of the rubber grommets. They all come in this whole kit, so you don't have to look around, find everything. Plus, they're expensive to buy just five. So, we get them in bulk. Okay, then you just work that in. And we'll do all five like that first, and then we'll move on. Okay, once we have all the buckets drilled and the grommets all in, we're going to cut two and a half to three inch pieces of the half inch pipe and they'll all go in here so we'll start that yes, you know I like this thing yeah. so in a matter of seconds you can have all five of your pieces cut. And we'll move to the next step. Okay, once we have these cut, the trick to get these in, the little grommets, they're not easy. Bevel the ends. Sand this down. You can use a grinder. You can use sandpaper. If you don't have either one, you can use a cinder block and just get the edges smoothed off beveled just a hair and then I put a little water in here <laughs> not too tall not too much <laughs> obviously okay. so after we have it beveled and wet I'll put one of the 90 degrees on there because it's easier to push that in then put your hand inside hold the grommet some work this back and forth and because you have this to push on it's actually quite easy to get that in so we've got that one put one more inside 
facing down. And so everything, that bucket is all but done. We put the liner in and then we're ready to fill it. I use perlite, you can use just about anything, but perlite is one of the best things to use if you can get it. We have it here, but shipping is ridiculous. So you shouldn't have to pay more than $20 for a four cubic foot bag, just FYI. And that's it, so we'll have our five buckets ready to go. All right, well stay tuned for part two at Greenhouse Solutions and Growing Systems where we keep it simple, keep it sustainable, keep it affordable, and most of all, keep it real. Yeah.